Well, let us talk about two, three trees. We have already talked about uh, various aspects of two, three trees. Now let us see inserting keys. So whenever you want to insert key, or rather, more precisely, if you talk, it is a key value pair into a tree. The first thing we need to do is to search for it. And you know, we don't want to have a duplicate keys as we are least said also. So it will be an unsuccessful search. And you know, if when we when uh, we insert it into the leaf door where the search is terminated, if at all it is duplicated. But if the leaf node only has one key before, it has now two keys now. Everything is good. But because we are talking about two, three trees, if the node has already two keys, now it has three keys. So we need to fix it. How? We'll see how to fix uh, this by looking uh, at our example tree. And if you remember, this was our example tree, a two, three tree. Let us uh, try to insert 21 into this T. How are we going to insert 21? Where it is going to go? Let us search for 21. When we try to search for 21, when we do this, uh, we will come at particular location where, because at this point 19, this 19 at this particular point 19 the 21 lies between 19 and 23 that 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 is uh, it should be on the right side of 19 and on somewhere on the left side of 21 uh, 23 so 21 can be placed at this place y because a node or a leaf uh, can have two values it is, there is no problem as such so we can insert 21 here we can uh, easily add so this is the figure and uh, let's uh, look at what happens when we insert 26 now we would like to insert 26 into the tree we got after inserting 21 now this 26 also belongs to this node only so then we have to add it to the node that leaf now contains 3 how 21 23 and here will be 26 so this will be 26. This is how uh, our insertion will take place. Uh, we have inserted 21. No problem. Now 26. So in this figure, uh, first of all, let me tell you that these triangles are those triangles which are unchanged. So we will not worry about that. So having three keys is illegal. It is not uh, allowed here. So we are going to fix it. So to do this, we can break up the node into three keys. We have to break the node by moving its middle key 23 to the parent. We'll send it to the parent, this 23, and making the two other keys into separate nodes means we'll make two more nodes, one of 21 and one of 26. And in our example, this uh, 23, it gets moved into the node that currently contains only 19, right? Turning it uh, into a node containing only 19 and 23. How? This 19 has gone, this 23 has gone to 19, like this, 23 has gone to 19. And uh, the remaining is 21, 26. So we'll make two no more nodes of 21 and 26. So the two elements 21 and 26 they are split into two separate nodes. Why? Because the parent node is now a two key node and it can easily support three children. Why? Because this is two three trees and these nodes they become the child node of the node which contains 19 and 23. So this is the resulting tree. So what we did we uh, just, uh, you know, just by one split operation, the problem was fixed. Now let us take uh, the next step. What happens when we want to insert 12? Where it should go? Where it is going to go? So we are thinking of inserting it into the original tree, but it makes no difference in this specific case. Uh, if you think, if you want to think of inserting it into the tree after we already inserted 21. And 26. 
So we first search for 12. In this, we search for 12, where it will go, it will it lies between 6 and 14, so it will be somewhere in between 6 and 14. So, uh, you know, again we search for this 12 and uh, ending into the leaf uh, that contains 11 and 13 is 11 and 13 like this, this is 11 and 13, so 11 and 13 the 12 is in between, it should lie here. So once uh, we want to search for 12, it will go, we will search for this node 6 and 14, then we see that uh, it will be on the right side of uh, this 8, 10 and 12 because 12 lies on the right side. So we will take the right side uh, or the tree on the or the node on the right side. Now as we come along, we find out that okay, we don't have to do this. Why? Because 12 can be inserted here. This is 2, 3, 3. 12 has to be with 8, 10 and 12. This is the resulting situation and as we discussed before, we take this 10 or we take the uh, middle one, we take the middle key here that is 12 uh, and this, this 12 and move it up to the parent node and splitting this to 11 and 13 into separate node, right? Uh, but now the parent has three keys and we have four subtrees as uh, shown uh, in this figure uh, we want to move the key 12 to 1 up if we want to go uh, to an upper node then we have to make it a diff uh, 11 and 13 as a separate node so just just by you know taking this now we have to fix this problem because this contains uh, 13 uh, 3 keys sorry we again take the middle key in this case 10, this is 10, we'll take this middle key and we'll you know send it to the uh, one up level node into the parent node which already contains 6 and 10, we have already 6, 6 and 14 in here so it will contain 6, 10 and 14 and this 8 and 12 because 8 and 12 was lying there, 10 has already gone so 8 will be uh, another node, 12 will be another node so like this 8 will be another node, 12 will be another, another node and 7, 9 will be kept here, 11, 9, 13 will be, uh, will remain here. So this uh, key 8 and 12 are now slipped, they become their own self node and the new node con containing this 8 has two uh, trees or has left of, left of two subtree which is this one, this is tree, this is subtree and this which contains 7 and 9. While this node uh, 12 that uh, obtains the right uh, two subtree that is 11 and 13. So this is the resulting tree. Now we have moved the problem yet another level. The root node now contains 6, 10 and 14. This is again uh, a situation. So we what we do, we do the similar thing. We push this 10, this 10, one layer and split the other keys into separate nodes, each inheriting two of the subtrees, these two subtrees, this is one subtree, this is two subtree. So now 10 will go up, left one 6 will have, uh, this 6 and 14 will be made another node and these trees will be uh, connected with them. So this will be 10, 6, right one will be 8 and, uh, and right 8 subtree and this 14 and 12 will be your left subtree. So we finally have obtained a 2, 3 tree again and the process uh, actually terminates. So we have now uh, increased the height of the tree. This, there are three levels now. And uh, you know, how the tree can ever grow in height if we always insert that leaves? Now we know that how it happens. It grows at the root even though the insertion happens at the leaves. So the important thing which you need uh, to keep in mind is that whenever a node has too many keys, you move up the middle key to the parent node. The, the key idea is this only, just move the parent node and split the remaining two keys into, into the separate two nodes like we have done. And the left node inherit the two left subtree while the right node inherit the two right subtrees. 
So this is the pseudo code to help us uh, how we inserted these two three trees in general. So for inserting a new key, we search for the key. If uh, we find it, we deal with the duplicacy. Otherwise, we have found the leaf where the key belongs. We insert the key into the leaf, and if the leaf only had only one key before, we are done now. Otherwise, we must now fix the leaf. To fix a node with three keys, what we do? We move the move B, that is the mid one, up in the parent node if there is one. Otherwise, we create a new node for the node uh, root uh, for the tree containing just B, and we create a node with just A. If this A consider this to be A B C. This is C. So we create a node uh, with just C as a key and make it to the right sub uh, right uh, child of the B node and this A as the left sub child. And we have to notice that the insertion R as we have defined it maintains the property of two three trees always. And the number of levels on these uh, all sub, uh, sub trees increased by one simultaneously when creating a new root and not increased for any node otherwise. So now we have to calculate the height of two three tree. Uh, how we are going to do this? We do this the way we have calculated the tree heights before already. So if the tree has height edge because all the leaves are, are at the same level in two three trees. And each internal node has at least two children, so it has at least uh, as many nodes uh, as a complete binary tree of h levels plus one more. You know, giving us the bound of uh, log n on the height, and we have already calculated before uh, in the heap in the case of heap. Uh, on the other side, a tree of h levels with maximum degree uh, three. Has at most one node on the uh, level zero, three nodes on the level one, nine nodes on the level so it, each time it increases by nine. Uh, previously it was uh, two children, now it is three nodes. Uh, so generally three to the power k nodes on level k, and if you want to total it, it will be three to the power k zero to h minus one. So just add it. It is uh, uh, you know uh, three to the power h minus one by three minus one. That is three to the power h by two, and we can come. Conclude by saying that n is less than or equal to three to the power h by two, and giving us uh, take log of both the side, we'll be having h which is greater than or equal to log two n that is base three and log base three n. So h is uh, between this log n and log n base three and base two, and uh, those two are within small constant factors of each other. So the runtime of insertion is nothing but order of uh, log n. And we can ignore this uh, log because uh, they are only constant factors. So hope uh, insertion was uh, fine with you. We'll be covering more aspect of two three trees in the later session. Thank you.